hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my birthday today is my birthday i'm a big old age and i'm not going to tell you what that number is but i'm a year older than i was last year and i just feel so magical and excited this morning i am doing things a little bit differently this year normally the last thing i want to do on my birthday is ride a horse or be around them because i think i do it every day of my life there's got to be one special day where i just pretend that i'm someone that lives in a city and is very chic and sophisticated and doesn't spend her life in wellies covered in mud but my friend Amy had a really cute idea and she said why don't we all go on a pub ride and just make it really cute and special so that's what we're going to do there should be a group of it's either four or six I'm not entirely sure who's coming and who isn't but everyone's sort of getting ready now they're gonna hack to my yard we're gonna have a little glass of port and some short bready things and some croissants and some pan of chocolates so it's gonna be really cute and then we're gonna go for a canter along the river go to our first pub probably have a drink in there and then go to our second pub have a drink in there and then I'm coming home because I've got to go for dinner this evening so it's not going to be messy it's not going to be outrageous it's not going to be crazy but it is going to be a lot of fun, I hope. The weather is questionable. It is like grey, drizzling misery. I've got my thermals on, so I'm all layered up. And I just hope the others are as well. Because if anyone complains about the weather on my birthday, that's it. You just can't have friends like that, can you? So that's what's going on. It's my birthday. I'm going for a birthday pub ride. And if you'd like to wish me a happy birthday in the comments down below, I will love you forever. One thing that I haven't done... I haven't had breakfast and I was going to I thought I better just have a nice healthy breakfast because I'm probably going to be eating a lot of rubbish today as it's my birthday but you know what I was gonna have some porridge and then I thought but then I won't want to eat all of the nice little goodies that I bought so I didn't but what I have been doing is scoffing a packet of truffles whilst I've been pootling around this morning so I've already been up and done the horses at six o'clock I got up at six o'clock on my birthday to go and muck out um so they should be still eating their hay and as soon as I finish this cup of tea I'm gonna go and tack up and wait for everyone to get here and just kind of put the food out put the port out the one thing that I'm struggling with is glasses for the port looking at my glass collection you'd think I had quite a decent amount of drinking vessels but no I don't have any shot glasses that's a lie I have one shot glass that I got from Milan a few years ago, but I just, it's not something that I do, but because we're not going to have a full on pint of port, because that would be hugely irresponsible, we're just going to have literally a shot each, just to make the weather feel a bit more bearable, because honestly, I, sorry, you got very close to my face then, um, it's so miserable, that's the farm next door, but it's just pure misery. As you can see, this is a real professional setup. Everything's vegan because I am a vegan. Those, I've had those for breakfast, but yes, that's the rustic paradise. Got a dirty horse towel on a DIY pallet table. Doesn't that look lovely? Happy birthday, me. Right, boysies, are you ready? I think you might have to stay in today because the field is so wet. What is it, Purdy? What is it? This little mare is the sweetest little girl. How many times did I just say little? But she's so lovely. Watch the electric fence pop it. You're just adorable, aren't you? She's really kind of opened up into her character since she's been here. So I think she's getting much more confident with her new home. She's just been so good. Purdy was out in the field with Clipper, but he wasn't being very nice to her and he did kick her. So I brought her up to the top and I thought, we'll just keep my horses separate from Clipper because I did kind of have it on my radar that he potentially wasn't going to be very friendly with her because he gave McAllister a bit of a hard time. Um, when he first moved here, he was out with my boys um, and I moved them away because I thought, I just can't, I don't want McAllister to not have a nice time because he's such a beautiful boy. I mean, I don't want any horse to not have a happy time in the field so I moved Billy and McAllister away and then when I decided to get Purdy I thought well she can go out with Clipper and because she's a baby and she's a mare perhaps he won't be as aggy with her but I think he's just not used to being turned out with other horses 
and I thought it's better to play it safe let's just split them up so Clipper's by himself which is a bit sad but also I can't compromise my horse's safety and that's what you get if you're not going to be friendly with other horses in the field like I just can't afford any of mine to get injured so that's what's going on um I should probably get some tack on Cali Alley who's just enjoying his hay net beautiful boy beautiful boy Cheers. How are we going? White in your eyes, you evil <laughs> That was like Irish scam. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> I don't know. I find you Irish. Going.
literally just got in the house and I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair and get ready for what will hopefully be a lovely dinner because right now I feel like a drowned street rat. I think I look like one as well, like this is not cute.